Hey, what's up you guys? Shadows here again with another episode of Shadows Weed Review. Today on our show, we're going to be going over The Director's Cut by Crown Genetics. Now you know me, I love the Crown OG, I love the Dizzy OG. Their uh, consistency wasn't always so great and that was the one part that I didn't like. But this is their newest one. This one's The Director's Cut. This one is supposed to be top notch, even better than the other two. So I cannot wait to give it a try. So check it out you guys, the nugs in there look nice, the packaging looks killer. <clears throat> and this one, the director's cut by Crown Genetics is weighing in at 25.28% THC, 0.058% CBD, and it's 50 bucks at my local dispensary. But check that out, that's the stats right there. So this one comes nice and sealed so you know it's never been tampered with, which is very important. Especially if you're getting it from a delivery place or something like that. Especially a delivery place. Because the delivery boy will get to take the good OG and he'll fill it with some bunk that he got for cheap. Like cheap ounce of. So, I know because they used to try and do that stuff when they first started doing deliveries. Because I had a dispensary what, 15 years ago. Before all the other dispensaries, like, we were the only couple out in, uh, <clears throat> on Santa Monica and Fairfax. And we started doing delivery, and it was a really gray area. Everything we did was gray area. Like, barely state legal, you know, it was, it was a sketchy time. And the other company, the other dispensary, Yellow House in uh, Santa Monica, tried to do delivery also, and their delivery guy was... They couldn't find a, an honest delivery guy, so I can imagine it's probably still the same way. I talked to one of my other buddies uh, that uh, owns a dispensary, and he's like, oh, God, you know, that we go through employees so fast because then nobody shows up. Nobody's, like, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, we got to break that mold, you guys. You don't, If you have a good job at a dispensary, don't mess it up. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to get back on topic. Sorry, you guys. So this is the Director's Cut by Crown Genetics. I just cracked open the top, or the plastic, and we're going to crack open the top together, you guys. Now, I didn't smell it, like, right when I opened the jar. I had to go into it to smell it. I'll be honest, the smell out of the jar isn't very impressive. Let's see what the nugs look like. <clears throat> Now, unfortunately, here's something that I have mixed feelings about, okay? These Crown Genetics bags in here that keep the humidity and everything just right for bud. It's not good for keeping crystals. I did my research, and I put two of the same nugs, both in two separate jars, and I put one of those in one jar and none in the other jar. We did a, a THC count. We let a month go by, did a THC count. Two months go by, THC count. Turns out that that thing will degrade your, your THC. It'll keep it like at the right moisture level, but it, it's not great for the bud. It's good if you're in the desert or somewhere really dry. It'll keep it from drying out. But if you're in a moist climate or like a regular humidity climate, like, you don't have to uh, go without the bag, put it in a good, without the pouch, put it in a good glass jar with a good seal on the top. That's the most important is the good seal on the top and a glass jar. It, it's best for the crystals. I have another video. Look into that video and I'll teach you all about, like, crystal degeneration and how the best way is to keep your, your bud the longest and how the best way is to keep the THC from degrading. Because there's lots of different tricks to doing it. And that's how wax came into play. <laughs> so here we go. Back to the nugs that I just dumped out. This is the director's cut. The nugs look okay. The, the calyx to leaf ratio is okay. They're not super clustery. It's pretty well trimmed. I'll give it that. It definitely has got the snap. Can you hear the snap? It's cured, right? The smell is okay, but to be honest, this doesn't really smell like good OG. It smells like old, 
old bud. <laughs> so out of the jar, I don't like it yet. So let's give it a try and see what's up. So here's the best nug out of the jar. And to be honest, I think it's sitting in that jar with that little pouch is what takes all the smell out. But check this out. This is that best nug. And I'll rip the tip off the of best nug. <clears throat> and we're going to look at that under the microscope real quick. And wow, look at that, you guys. That is insane. That is a lot of trichome. A lot, a lot of trichome. And all of them have heads on it. This one's going to get me really high if it's a legit OG. But it's definitely been handled well. It hasn't been tumbled. All the heads are still on it. It's not just look like grass. You can see all the heads. It looks like a mushroom field. So it's definitely been handled well. It hasn't been tumbled. But uh, let's get that same nug that we were looking at under the microscope. And let's smoke it. Give it a try. So why don't you guys grab your pieces at home. Let's do this. Sorry right, guys, I wasn't ready. I didn't clear my bowl out first. Sorry. Honest mistake. <clears throat> Alright, you guys got your pieces and ready to go. Alright, well, we're gonna do this this test out of the three foot new three foot glass on glass bong that I got from uh, my buddies over at the uh, glass chamber Long Beach <sighs> all right you guys let's do this <clears throat> Whew, this one's gonna be good smooth it goes down semi smooth but then it really expands in your chest <coughs> <coughs> which is a good thing that it makes you high but whoo yeah just I'm high <laughs> yeah <clears throat> this one gives you a good head rush I feel it right out of the gate I have a little bit of a body sweat but <clears throat> yeah definitely a good head high so if you guys get a chance, check this out. This is the director's cut <coughs> by, whew, by Crown Genetics. The smell out of the jar isn't that great. I wish they'd get rid of that baggie. The taste is okay. It's, it's got an earthy, dusty taste. <coughs> um, as far as like on the stat board of where I would put it, I would put it below the L.A. Kush's. The high, I would definitely put it like up within like pretty good, like federal. It's it's pretty good as far as the high, but the uh, the smell and the flavor are just okay. But as far as the high, this this will get it done. But if you want flavor, then I'd go red box or blue box. <coughs> but if you want a good head rush, this one will get it done, dude. The director's cut at Crown OG, I'm faded, dude. It looks pretty good. Alright, you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.